let's go it is thursday december the 7th i'm gonna get right to this i'm on my break here at work and uh you know i've had a couple of days now to reflect and think about the willie taggart hiring at florida state and although i really wasn't ever upset about the hiring i did talk about uh how i felt uncertain when it came to the program and and the direction of the program sometimes me and myself i'm going to be honest with you i I tend to react instead of responding, and I probably reacted a little bit, um, you know, and, uh, you know, again, I, I never really had a problem with Willie Taggart himself, but I'm a, I'm a, I get geeked out when it comes to press conferences. I love press conferences. I, I enjoy them, um, whether it's the Bucks or the Seminoles or pretty much any other team that I'm a fan of. I love listening to press conferences. I listen to other coaches and other teams, but primarily my teams. I'm not going to lie. Um, when I listen to his press conference, his body language, his attitude, just the way that he presented himself came off to me. I, I mean, I'm not the, you know, aficionado on this stuff. I'm, I, I consider myself to be pretty good when it comes to body language and stuff, but but he came off as very authentic. And ultimately, I think any, any Seminole fan or any fan of any team, whether it's a, a, you know, a professional team, whether it's baseball, football, hockey, basketball, it doesn't matter, college pro, anytime somebody is joining an organization, a school, a team, or whatever that you root for, it always kind of means something, or at least to me, it means something more if that person has something invested emotionally in that organization or school or franchise, whatever. And when you listen to him talk about his love for Florida State and how that was his dream job, I mean, again, the guy could be completely just BSing everybody, but I don't feel that. You know what I mean? It came off as very authentic. And when I listen to that, I'm not gonna lie, like it made me feel some type of way and it made me want to root for this guy. Not that I wasn't gonna root for him anyways, obviously he's, he's a Seminole now, I'm gonna root for him, I want him to succeed. But when you listen to a guy like that, you know, when you hear him talk about how, you know, this is where he wants to be, this is, he doesn't plan on going anywhere anytime soon or at all, now, I don't know. To me, that means something. As a Seminole fan, that's what I want to hear. I mean, ultimately, right? Now, obviously, you want him to do good so that he will stay there. But but it's just, I don't know. I can appreciate that. I really can. So, uh, you know, I still, you know, I have my concerns about the other teams. But but I feel like we got our guy. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to do kind of a follow-up. You know, it's been a couple days now, and I've had a chance to kind of sit back, reflect, think about it, and then, you know, watch that press conference. Um, and kind of honestly, you know, I'm not going to lie, just kind of educate myself and learn a little bit more about this guy, which I'm not going to go into all that. There's plenty of stuff out there if you want to learn more about Willie Taggart, way more than I'd be able to provide you. But what I've seen, what I've heard, and then listening to him and his interviews now, um, along with this press conference, yeah, I'm... Um, I'm gonna be rooting for him. So hopefully it's good things to come for the Seminoles. Um, obviously, if you're a fan of the Seminoles, that's ultimately what you want, right? No matter who your team is, you want your team to succeed. And uh, I just think it means something, just a little extra something when that guy says that's his dream job, you know? Whether he's being honest or not, he's saying it. That's what you wanna hear. But anyways, uh, I'm going to keep grinding, keep moving forward, always trust the process. I am out.